the the one that comes to mind for me is uh, involves a, a, a customer in Japan mm -hmm. uh, that we had uh, recently uh, related to uh, calibration standards. And this uh, particular customer, um, it, and if you think about calibration standards, you know that you know here at Technonine we have a, a ISO Level Three calibration standards laboratory, mm -hmm. and we issue thousands of standards a year to customers worldwide. Uh, directly and through our partner website, calstandards.com. Um, this particular customer approached our distributor in Japan and requested a specific standard uh, with specific data, data that we don't normally provide in our common product. Um, so they brought that information to me. Um, I looked at the data. We had some more communication back and forth. Uh, to better define what it is the customer needed. Uh, in that process, we also learned that they wanted these standards to be used uh, in instruments other than uh, Technonine, which is not a problem. Our standards already do that. They can yeah. be used on any product uh, from any manufacturer. So <clears throat> uh, again, back and forth to define that. I then took that information to uh, our laboratory team. Um, they looked at the information and then uh, provided me with a prototype product that I then provided the distributor who then uh, took it to the, the customer for testing. Uh, we also had some, in, in that process, there were some customer visits uh, involved, uh, just trying to better define uh, what was going on and get our customer um, uh, more comfortable with us as a yeah. company. So uh, again, through that process, they tested this prototype. Uh, the it went very well, and they ended up placing an order for with us uh, for a monthly subscription for multiple uh, pro multiple uh, standards. <clears throat> so yeah, that was the great thing. Now my takeaway from that, I had two takeaways really. Uh, the first one is um, that I think it's a perfect example of uh, Technodyne's willingness to look at a customer's need and come up with a customized solution. You know, a lot of, I think most vendors or suppliers wouldn't do that. They would walk away from that because it's eh, it's too much work and it wouldn't really uh, do much for us. Uh, the other takeaway, I think, is a, it, it's an example of our relationship with our agents and our distributors. I mean, we work really hard to de define that relationship, mm -hmm. provide the training and things that are necessary uh, for them to support our customers as well. So those, to me, those are the two takeaways from that. We, we try to develop a partnership with our distributors and agents, and we do that uh, by training them here. Uh, we train them in their location, uh, not only in uh, the product capabilities and, and how the, the product applies to the, the customer's need, but also in service and support and being able to provide technical support to the customer uh, from whatever the product can do or to that particular application. And, you know, we're not talking about a, a half-day training session. We're talking about days. Uh, if they're coming here for, to learn uh, service and being able to support the product, they're here for weeks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, to, to us, that's a critical component because we feel like uh, technical support is, is very important, and we want our agents and distributors to understand that. Um, I think Techno9 is different because, uh, you know, I hate to go back to my success story, but uh, it's an example of it. I mean, we're willing to look at and engage a customer and understand, you know, if they have a particular situation that requires a custom solution, we're not going to just walk away from it. We're willing to look at it and, uh, you know, see it. You know, we can't, we're well, not going to be able to do all of them, but we're certainly going to investigate it and, and do our best to try to, to make that customer satisfied and give them something unique. Uh, so that's, I think that's what makes us different.